they're dangerous. Watch out. You yeah. want to have you competing tomorrow. Actually, we're not sure if uh, Chantal Lau is competing tomorrow because she hasn't arrived to Stockholm as uh, planned. So we uh, don't have Chante with us here today. We really hope that she will be here in the stadium tomorrow uh, morning. Here we got, uh, I think these two girls maybe are not too familiar for you, at least not to international press, as Sophie Skog is an emerging Swedish high jumper. And I know what to say about Desiree Rossitz from Italy, who suddenly is a world leader. That's the reason why we thought actually we should introduce Desiree, who did jump 197 uh, last weekend at the Italian Junior Championships in the uh, U23 category. So Desiree, and I'm going to help Desiree with some Italian maybe if the English gets too complicated. Uh, tell us about your background. We don't know actually almost nothing about you. We know about Alessia Trost and you've been training with Alessia Trost. You've got the same coach as Alessia. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey. Yes. It's two years that I'm training with Alessia and uh, I don't know what the story. Well, how, how come? You changed coach like one and a half years ago, two years ago? Yeah, with Gianfranco Chiesa mm. and two years that I jumped with Alessia and we are friends. And only in one month, uh, the work that do with Gianfranco is come out. So. so what is Gianfranco doing? Everybody wants to be coached by Gianfranco if you go from 191, was it, to 197? And if you 97. Yes. What's the, is it a totally new school for you? What's the secret with Gianfranco Chiesa? The secret is to be quiet mm -hmm. and uh, trust in yourself, in myself. So... This is a secret. <laughs> uh, and 197, suddenly world lead. Have you ever dreamt about to be the world leader? Uh, I prefer to not think this because uh, I prefer to be quiet and uh, continue my, my work uh, quiet. Are you selected to the Europeans and the Olympics in Italy, or what's the situation? Well, the situation is... Um, when I do 94, I have to repeat this uh, me measure. And uh, now that I jump 97, I think that Italy, uh, the, the, the Coney in Italy, mm, mm, not so. We select you. We select you, yeah. yes. And Coney is the Italian Olympic Committee, yes. Uh, and have you met each other in competitions, Sophie? Never. It was the first time you met. So it's such a, uh, as a big surprise for you that uh, Desiree is a world leader. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you've been uh, jumping almost as high as Desiree. Actually, you've got quite parallel careers in Sweden and Italy. Uh, and you emerge of the world scene, let's say, the last 12 months, coached by Stefan Holm, the 2004 Olympic champion. So you also co uh, changed it, coach. Uh, how long time ago was it that you started to train for Stefan? Uh, in September, it will be two years ago. Yeah. A big difference? Uh, quite a big difference. We've changed uh, my technique with, um, with around 20 feet, uh, my approach. Yeah. And um, we've added a lot of uh, jumping strength and uh, normal strength as well. And you did gain results quite quickly yourself as well? Yeah, the first uh, indoor season that we did together, I qualified for the Europeans in Prague. And since, that, since then, I did all the championships. How close does Stefan follow you? Before, actually, you had uh, another profession, but is he a full-time coach at the moment? He is, for the, uh, yeah, for the moment right now. Yeah, he is. And will he follow you here tomorrow? Yeah, who will come tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Let's speak about the competition I, I think no high jumper want to speak about, Oslo. Uh, <laughs> it was a really bad weather, winning by 190 and actually you got second, 185. Uh, for us not being in Oslo, was it uh, really, really freezing and uh, what happened? I think that uh, the major point was that it was quite warm on the warm-up. Uh, we did the warm-up uh, underneath the stadium in an indoor track and then we came out in the um, um, the jumps before the competitions, uh, they were in the in different weather than the the competition. So it changed around after 180. Uh, the sun went down and it started to get windy and a little bit of rain as well. 
it looks a little bit more promising now. Uh, we said before we should actually compete at this moment. Uh, what do you expect of tomorrow? Uh, I expect more from myself, and uh, I will do better than Oslo. I'm I'm sure of that, <laughs> and um, I'm looking forward to get out and there and just enjoy the audience home track kind of, and just to jump as well as I I know I can because all the training in this since the indoor season has gone well. So I hope it will be a good competition tomorrow. And. Uh that's uh, uh, we'll be speaking on Lesser Trust. Actually, I read that you've been training with Ruth Beatty as well this spring. You were a camp in Spain? Yeah, we'll come back in Spain in May. We'll stay eight days. We are, we're training together and, uh, and nothing. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you train some Spanish way or was it the training system of Kessa in Spain as well? No, it's the same system. Hmm? We, we jump, we, we do gym, the same system. Was that a good inspiration to have? A, a good inspiration hmm. because in, for the first time I'm training with the uh, Olympian champions in route and it's, impact, it's, in, it's simply two person. Hmm. Do you believe we're still uh, competing at the same age as uh, Ruth Beta is doing, both of you? Oh. Hopefully. Hopefully, yes. What about Desiree? You want a long career. Who's gonna jump highest over Ruth Beatty, Alessa Trost, and Desiree Rossett tomorrow? I don't know. You don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Any questions from the audience to these two quite new jumpers on the international scene? And we got also Kaiser Bayer Christi here if you want to speak with someone elsewhere uh, about a long career. So, Sophia and uh, no, this way. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. And uh, you have to lift the diamond trophy as all the others. It's the right opportunity. We'll follow up with three Swedish runners and actually the first time this afternoon we 